What should we do this time, chat? Prime time? We didn't have prime time in our last deck. Boff. Yeah, I think this is a pretty easy first pick. I'm not first picking Grey Merchant. Blech. Is he holding a sword? What is he holding on to? Oh wait, he's holding on to his satchel on the back. I didn't even realize he had a bag on his back. Wow. No, I think this is prime time. Last league was a nice one and two. Oh man, are we just running it back? Chad, I have to. This is an obligation now. It's just an obligation now. Ugin? I'll take Ugin over Garrick. Look, you have much better top end already. Yeah, Tooth and Nail is in. Now we're never going to get any of the early game. Also, Ugin with Mana Dorks isn't always the most uh, uh, optimal line. If you need to exile stuff, you end up eating all of your dorks. So it lets you go from Nissa to big stuff very quickly as well. We're not even forcing green. I think just prime time was the best pick in the first pack. I think Crater Hope was also an easy follow up to prime time, and I think Ugin was great. Maybe maybe taking the Nissa, sure, but these first three picks were, I think, just the best pick, anyways. Like, right? We just and now we're just going down this path. Super easy pickup. Oof. Oath of Nyssa lets Ugin be cast with any color. Any color, chat. Any. Upheaval, opposition, yeah, those are some blue cards we would take. Hey, tree speaker. What's up, Plasma Quick? 92. 25 months resubscribing. Thank you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. In time to watch us draft this mono green.
holly. This doesn't actually get a forest. God, the sneeze is right there and I cannot get it out. Please. Ah! I'm going to go inhale some pepper. Oh, this is the worst day of my life. I really like copter with mana dorks too. Yeah, I'm going to take that over Green Warden. Fudge! Tuck your lower lip under your top lip and blow. <laughs> Don't you mean the other way around? Don't you mean tuck your top lip under your lower lip and blow? <laughs> I think you're just trying to make me look like a jackass. Misty, Terastodon, Pilgrim. Yeah, looking at bright lights usually does it for me. Dilates the, uh, or, uh, contracts the, uh, pupils and does it. I think we have enough fat. Again, I'm just gonna take another dork. Another dork, sorry Udamog. Primal Command or Salvala, or Sword of Fire, nice. Primal Command's pretty good. We have some nice targets to go get. Steve, Wood Elves, Conscripts, some fixing. What else should we all? I've never passed a ha 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 forehead. Chat, I think I'm just running back the mono green. Screw y'all other colors. I don't need you. All I need is green. Is there a green song? Come on, Pancake Manor. Tell me you have a green song. Hello, Oracle. Come on, Pancake Manor. Oh, <gasps> Pancake Manor has a green song! I love meeting up with friends in the park. Playing on the cement doesn't have the same spark. Nothing is better than some big old trees. You can run around them with such ease. And if you fall down, the grass is soft on your knees.
that song was much worse than Red Rocks Me. Green, I feel alive when I've been outside. Come on, Pancake Man, you're better than that. Come on, Pancake Man, you're better than that. <clears throat> Green, I feel alive when I've been outside. Hmm. I think I'm just taking Ballista here. It's a good mana sink too, man, when you have all the manas and nothing to do's. <sighs> Look, green things. <laughs> Look, Carter's Tyrant's okay. I just think it's another replaceable fat card, though. You know? Super late Elspeth, too. Green, I feel alive when I've been outside. I'm gonna go make another pot of coffee. I think that's gonna make me feel much better. Much better and more hype. Hype. Ooh, we'll run port. It's not easy being green. So much more somber. Having to spend each day the color of the leaves. I think we're just when I think it might be slamming nicer, the suns here being red or yellow or gold or something much more colorful like that it's not easy being green it seems you blend in with so many other ordinary things and people tend to pass you over because you're not standing out like flashy sparkles in the water or stars in the sky. But green's the color of spring. <laughs> this is perfect when you've drafted green three times and in a row, but it's still open, cool so you need to. <laughs> and friendly like. Not a huge fan of Green Day. And green can be big. <laughs> Like a mountain, or important, like a river, or tall like a tree. Man, I haven't heard this song in so long. When green is all there is to be, it could make you wonder why. But why wonder? Why wonder? Wow, this is so deep, Kermit. Why? Why, green. Why wonder? It'll do fine. Yes, it'll be it's fine. Beautiful. It's beautiful, thank you. And I think it's what I want to be. Good job, Kermie. Oh, Kermie. Do I have anything that interacts with fetches? Mm. Ah. <sighs> 
search for tomorrow. I thought I had enough ramp already. No, we have a ton. Jade Light is the green mold drifter, bro. I don't even have the carry added to combo with the battle mint. Battlement's better for uh, Crater Hook, though. Yeah, if that had been any other sword, I probably would have taken it, but Light and Shadow is... Oh, hello. Now I'm getting rewarded for taking the uh, battlements over the damn fertile. <laughs> Elish Norn might be worth splashing. It's not easy. It's not easy being green. God, I, whenever I try to do Kermit now, Smeagol always gets mixed in, and it's really concerning. It's not easy being green. <laughs> I always, I always, like, <laughs> get Smeagol in there. Uh, can't do it anymore. It's not easy being... <laughs> I can't do it! Maybe I can mute the microphone so you guys can't hear me practicing. I'm over it. I'm over it, chat. Over it! I could see run, main, main decking the Greaves here. I don't think we need Kitchen Finks. We have Primal Command and Thrag Tusk already. Should life become a matter. Oh, I've never seen Kermit and Smeagol in the same place. Some hamster for sale. Thank you for four months for subscribing with that tier one. Lean, green, mean machine. Wait, lean, mean, green machine. Yes, yes. Mm. Strategy-wise, or uh, gameplay, no, not so much, but it's just a strategy, you know? Greaves plus mana dorks, free mana! Uh, ooh. Do we need that? I can run it. I don't actually know if I run the Hissing Quagmire, though, if I end up running the Big Garrick. I don't think we run... I think we run the Woodland, but I don't think we run the Hissing. I'm gonna cut Denny P. And we'll go Cemetery, Foothills, Port, Cradle. And then just run one Swamp. Hey, what's up? Four Fingers! 26 months, new month. Hello! We have Fixing, Othanissa, Utopia Sprawl, Sakura, Coalition, yeah, that's plenty. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess you're right, I don't have, I don't have the synergy for the Wooded Foothills, but I was just talking about that, yeah, never mind. Yeah, that's probably not bad. Also, Maelstrom Pulse, you're right. I could splash the Pulse too now. What's up, Decon? <clears throat> uh, 
auto matched or auto drafted. Nice, nice. Oh, I do have a card. I have Oracle. Right. I think we can probably get away with the field. Hmm. Maybe Sage is sideboardable then. I think I'd rather have the Pulse in the main than the Sage for sure. <laughs> You keep yelling this, but if I didn't do it the first time, why would I do it the second time you said it? I have enough fixing that if I need to field to get a swamp, I'm probably upset. <clears throat> so we just turn one, green sun zenith for dryad arbor, and easy game. This is the green deck that we 3-0 with, chat. And if I don't 3-0, I'm buying 20 chests and opening them all. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. We're going to play slow. We're going to talk about our plays. We're going to think through things. Is a 4-4 Flying Vigilance a good card for 3GB? Yeah, man. Duh. If you had a green-black creature, it's most likely going to be a 4-4 Flying Vigilance. Mero taught us that. Alright, saved. Tomorrow, eh, I guess. I guess. If you're into that type of thing. Uh, I think I'm going to just get my boy Tree Speaker here instead of running out Overgrown. Kyora, you gonna prevent my damage, bro? I'm gonna draw a card. Draw a card, do it. Damn. Ooh. Mmm, spicy. Do 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 do. We're gonna have a decent amount of mana next turn, aren't we? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Jeez. Cheese and crackers. Can I open chests anyways? No! Am I going all in on crab control? I mean, I'm definitely going to do it some number of times. Uh-oh. Prem team. The prem team. We just set up, right? So we go two, three, four, five, primal. Let's put the Cura back on top, get a creature, and now they don't draw prime time next turn unless they play Cura and draw a card, but then they're not casting their prime time.
Uh, any of our one mana dorks are effectively free with the cradle. And now we just go LOL GG. I don't care about shuffling. Oh. Well, good thing I have this card to discard. Is Sword of Feast and Famine good versus a mono green deck? Ha! Joke's on you, I'm not mono green, I'm running black. Alright, play Kiora. Uptick on Polly. Or whatever, down tick, or yeah, uptick on Polly. 5, 10, 15, 20, 22. This is not nearly enough damage. <gasps> Does that do it? Oh no, no, it would have been. Yeah, yeah, no, that wouldn't. Let's see, so now we have 6, 12, 18, 23, 24, 25. Damn, we're still three short. Stupid overgrown battlement not being able to attack. Maybe they just scoop, though. All right! Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right, sorry. Sorry, Mold Drifter. You're out. Yeah, I mean, they were basically dead. Like, they'd have to double chump, and then what? They draw prime time, play a 6-6, six, six, and die on the following turn. Ooh. Ooh, this hand's a little bit risky because these don't actually, or this doesn't actually produce mana unless I hit another land. But it's so good if we do! No way, no how I'm mulling this. Of course we did it, we're the best. Man, we might have seven mana next turn. Boy howdy. Probably still doing stuff too. plan. I think I'm just gonna primal their swamp on top of their library and go get prime time and then play Elvish Mystic. Uh, sorry, not get... yeah. No, I said get prime time, never mind. I said it right. Muno card, hello my friend. Thank you for the seven months resubscribing. Thank you for those one hundred gems. What? I think that was a very easy keep on the draw. On the play, I probably uh, mulligan that, but that was great. Uh oh, one of your two on no. <sighs> ah! Damn it. Damn it. God damn it.
Look at this Rex Sage value. This is exactly why we put it in our deck, chat. This is exactly why we put it in our deck. For moments like these. This attack doesn't work. She doesn't untap the land. This one doesn't, anyways. Yeah, nice treasure, bro. So in order for them to kill Minus of this turn, they need to use Vraska to kill the Rex Sage, and that's fine with me. Right? They can go Vraska, kill Rex Sage, Nissa, make a 4-4, four, four, kill my Nissa. But that that's not all that bad. Or they might have Avenger of Zendikar. Yes, yes. So the last card in their hand is Nissa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I guess it doesn't actually change anything, doesn't matter. I don't need to sack the uh, tribal there first. Nah, the tribal there first doesn't matter. They already have a black source in their elf, so let's just get the wooden cemetery since we'll enter tapped. Uh oh! Well, that actually doesn't do anything. It gives them a million mana, but it doesn't actually do anything. That, that does something, but they can't draw it this turn, right? We know what they have in their hand. This doesn't get that, though, right? Yeah. Taste it, sword. Alright, so they have Prime Time, and they have Nyssa. <laughs> Buddy. <sighs> Do I have a mass token producer in this deck? I don't have Hermit, I don't have Hornet, I don't have Avenger. I guess I might just be dead this turn. Braska kill prime time. I have two creatures to block. Oh, Ugin would be insane. Yeah. Again, that's provided I'm not just dead this turn. Oh, wait. Nissa. Nissa made a land of 5 5 or whatever, and then they sacked it. Uh, I guess they were untapping the land to get this, the sack value. What did they kill? They did kill prime time. Okay, I'm not dead.
They all go in face. Yes. Oh, no, wait. Avengers going to Nyssa. Nope. Face. Nope. Uh, Nyssa. Face. Nyssa. That, that, face. So I need to block both. Wait, am I dead on board if they attack with everything? 5, 10, 15. Oh, wait. I am just dead on board. Never mind. Oh, well, that made that easy. 5, 10, 15, 10, yeah, 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 whatever. All right, so the game plan. Don't let them ramp out faster than I do. Oh no! No! I have to 3-0 with this deck! Otherwise I have to open chests! Oh god! Oh god! Not like this! No, 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 no! Uh, opponent's on the look in the five. Four, 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 scoop, 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 four, 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 scoop. I'd be able to cast that on turn three. I'm gonna get greedy in bottom though. I'm actually not greedy. Since we already have Polychronos that we can do as a good four drop that can clear some creatures, I just wanna hit some more mana sources. Like a two drop here would be great. I'm going to level up twice because I don't think the damage is entirely relevant and we do have other elves in the deck that this will help. Nice draw. Uh, close to 20 years. For reals. Uh oh, black mana. Ooh, Corsi. No, oh, it's tapped. Oh wait, no, no, no. That's the other one I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah, game. I was thinking of the fast lands. How much do I care about? Solvala. I don't think I do. Eh. I guess we'll still kill her. Oh, did, no, no, I didn't have the win. Never mind. I was one off lethal. No, wait, no, I wasn't. What am I talking about? I have to tap that mana. Don't, don't listen to me. Decky, nineteen eighty nine, forty two months resubscribe and thank you. Yeah, there's somebody doing something downstairs. Oh, wait, I mean, since I live on my island, you can often hear the whales in the ocean surrounding us. Duh. Duh. Mr. Dime, thank you for that Twitch Prime subscription, friend. Appreciate that. <laughs> 42, the answer to every sub-question. That is true, Decky.
Oh, yeah, that's just my buddy Jim. He's taking the jet ski out for a ride. Easy. All right, won the die roll. That's, a, that's an important step. One drop? Not quite, but it's a good hand, chat. It's a good hand. We have some ramp, and we have Ugin to kill our ramp. I'm on the play too, so it's good. Oh, oh, right. I just get Dryad Arbor. I keep forgetting. Can I show us you are cat? Meow. Is that what you meant? You are cat. I'm about to be coffee in a second when I go make another pot. Okay, did not need to draw crater hoof there, but that's fine. Shardless Agent. Counterspell. Miscalculation. Bitter Blossom. Scarab God. Nice. The land. Nice. Nice. The value. Oh man, another banging downstairs. <laughs> another banging stuff downstairs. Jesus, they're actually really going for it. Oh, I should have gotten the fetch. Whoops. Damn, Peep's going crazy. Going ham! Oh, Drana with Fairy Rogues? That's nice. Alright, can I win this turn? Got here three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I can ballista for two, and then I'm gonna have four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Dude, stop banging downstairs, please. Uh, yeah, the article I wrote for Drafting Masters 25 is live, and you can check it out there. Link is in chat. <clears throat> the only regret I have is that they have the old images for the uh, cards and not the new images from Masters 25. So it's a little bit confusing. So like my top three commons has like an uncommon in it. And my top three like black uncommons, <laughs> there are two rares in it. Yeah, they won't be in Gather for a while. I mean, that's why, right? But... Why are they not attacking? Dude, this is just F6 value. Tap everything on your turn, and then you don't have to do anything.
I think we're supposed to jam the Garrick here and eat their elf. That turns off two mana sources, and they haven't done anything with five mana, so... Killing elf kills their cradle, basically. Cradle port. Now oh, this game seems very close. They have a toxic deluge. Act of aggression. What? All right, that's good for them. They get to kill my Garrick and get two extra lands. I think they're just dead to Ballista, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just dead on board still. Or effectively dead on board since... 12. <laughs> Seems good. Don't even need to do any of this. This is all just for show. Oh, show! Alright. Well, that was a very quick match. Chat! Your chesties. They're being threatened right now. Your chesties are being threatened. We are one match win away from 3-0. and Oh, yeah. I make an exciting case for Horseshoe Crab. Dude, that deck is going to be legit when it works. Like, you're going to you're gonna try drafting the Horseshoe Crab deck ten times, and it's going to work out three times out of ten. But those three times is going to be freaking great. Eh, maybe, maybe even two times out of ten, but you know, you know what I mean. Oh, that's right. Drafts are super expensive. I played the Pilgrim first since it doesn't have haste, whereas Utopia Sprawl has haste the turn you cast it, effectively. All right. Daddy just needs a land. No mana tide, 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 no mana tide. Port in field. Path? That's rude. Thalia? It's also rude. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I just get, you know, possessed. Dude, you are so rude, dude. Dude. Like, come on, bruh. I'm not going to completely kill off the Ballista. I'm going to force them to uh, still target it. Because if I get rid of the Ballista, just sack the last permanent, then they can get one of my other ones.
Uh, Garrick. We're dead. We're dead. <clears throat> Brimas, King. Are you scared of that devoted druid? I'd be scared of that devoted druid, buddy. Oh god, any land I tap adds two. Oh god. What? We're okay. They Armageddon. All right, here it is, Garrick, Ugin, Garrick, boom, boom, daddy, please. One floody boy over here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of my land's gone. One floody boy! Wow, this really sucks. Them attacking with an entity doesn't actually do anything. If they pump the entity, they make their Bane Slayer smaller. They gain less life if they pump. <laughs> uh. Alright, Ugin, you are still a dreamy card to draw. Let's do it, baby. This really sucks. You can't handle the truth. And now it has to be Ugin, right? No, no, no. It doesn't have to be Ugin, actually. Oh, yes, it does. It has to be Ugin. All right. Thin the deck. Thin the deck. Thinning, thinning is so negligible, though. All right, hold, stabilize at three. <sighs> Mold Drifter? What does Green Sun find? I'm definitely leaving it on top, but. Gets Crater Hoof. That doesn't seem that great. Prime time is gone. No, do you have Resto Angel? No! I hate magic. I hate magic. I hate frickin' magic! No, we're going to win the next two games, and then we don't need to spew chesties, chat.
God damn it. No, they had the sword. <laughs> I should have waited though. Should have waited for me to pump. I'm just gonna jade light since we don't need the relic anymore. Bottom it. Yeah, I'm gonna bit them both. I think it's okay to have kept both as well since we have the relic in our hand, but. Or at least kept the primal command not knowing what was underneath it. That's not bad. Mr. Second Land, and all they did was play a uh, Porcelain Legionnaire. Oh, there's the land number three. Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, nice 4 3. Be a shame if I played a 3 1 first strike. <laughs> and then a 3 2 first strike. And then a tapped land. Y'all so rude, bro. Holocron is also just amazing here. If they don't kill it. I can pay through a mana tithe. Waken daddy. Daddy's angry. Alright, here comes the resto, as expected. <laughs> if they play like a parallax wave, they can kill Ugin. Or if they can deal with both of my creatures, they can kill Ugin, but... That's fine. We have ways to deal with the Fates Fetters. I don't think I brought in the Reclamation Sage, but I will bring in for the next game. Oh, wait. No, maybe we don't have ways to kill that. I lied. I forgot to put a counter on this. Whoops. Nine is four. Primal Command's in my graveyard. Take 13. Go. Johnny! <clears throat> kith, kith. Ooh, we still racing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the greedy play, by the way. Because now if they have a way to get three more points of damage and somehow I lose, whereas if I keep the Ballista on four, I can shoot down the Resto.
that ain't doing it. All right. We did see a path from them as well, though. Did I forget to add a counter to this again? Oh my god. If I did, I'm stupid. Wait, no, it doesn't matter if I tap these two for eight, because it still only adds three. I keep for man, I'm usually really good about putting counters on Coalition Relic, but I was fail fishing there quite a bit. I think World Waker might not be good enough versus them. Alright, we are one game away. One game. One life. Let's draw one drop. Cast Ugin with any color mana. Guess we're taking a forest. I'm just going to play Battlement because it blocks Kithian. And I don't need the extra mana from the Devoted Druid anyways. Lingering Souls. Alright. They get to flip and transform Gideon. That's fine. We got a Bingo Bango to cast soon. We're just going to go like this, though. <laughs> Kill Gideon. <laughs> Ugin Zero kills tokens as long as they have a color, yes? Please. Trophy! Thank you! Don't need to open those goddamn chests, chat. Not today. Not today. Get back in the freaking queue. You guys don't know me.